Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. The integrity of tennis is on the line. The game's governing body must take measures to combat corruption in the sport. That's one of the conclusions that an independent task force has reached after a two-year investigation into charges of match fixing. The investigation was prompted by a 2016 BBC and BuzzFeed report that alleged 16 players, all of whom have ranked in the top 50, were linked to match fixing. The independent panel interviewed more than 3,200 players and 200 administrators for the investigation, which, by the way, cost more than $20 million and covered over two years. Our top five takeaways from the task force report. Number five, massive match fixing has hit tennis's lower levels. The panel has concluded that there is a tsunami of match fixing on the pro circuit's low levels. Attorney Adam Lewis, who led the panel, calls tennis's minor leagues a fertile breeding ground for match fixing. Though it also states it found no evidence of the game's governing bodies covering up corruption and no evidence of Grand Slam match fixing or corruption. Number four, players know that match fixing happens. Of the more than 3,200 players interviewed, 15% reported first-hand knowledge of match fixing. That's an alarming number. Back in 2016, Novak Djokovic told the BBC that members of his team were approached years ago. I was not approached directly. Uh, I was approached through, well, I mean me personally, through, through uh, uh, people that were working with me at that time. Um, they were in my team. Um, and, and of course, we, we we threw it away right away. I mean, it didn't even get to me. Somebody may call it an opportunity. I call it a. For me, that's that's an act of unsportsmanship, a, a crime in sport. Honestly. Number three, low-ranked players have high incentive to fix matches. The investigation concludes one reason tennis is so vulnerable to fixing is because it's so tough to make money playing. Of the 15,000 players who play pro tennis at various levels, only about 560 actually break even playing the sport. Covering the cost of coaching and global travel required just to compete on the pro circuit can make a lot of players susceptible to bribes and match fixing offers. Number two, tennis created conditions for corruption. The ITF profited greatly from its decision to sell live scoring data and technology, and tournaments have made money selling sponsorship to betting firms. But at what cost to integrity? The ITF signed a five-year, $70 million data deal with Swiss brand Sports Radar back in 2015, which includes data for future tournaments. The independent panel recommends that ITF stop selling data pointing out in 2012, before the data sale, there were three reported cases of suspicious matches. By 2016, after that data deal, the number of suspicious matches spiked to 240. Since the ITF inked that data deal, 60,000 matches were available for betting in 2016. That's up from 40,000 in 2013, according to the report. The panel also recommends that tournaments stop accepting sponsorship from betting firms and step up actions to deal with intolerable levels of abuse from disgruntled gamblers. Some players, including Gail Monfils and Kyle Edmund, have received online abuse from angry bettors. And topping our list, when it comes to corruption, tennis is one of the most suspicious sports. The independent task force cited European sports betting integrity firm ESSA, which says since 2015, tennis has been responsible for more suspicious betting than for any other sport in each and every quarter. Wow, that is quite a condemnation. Tennis's governing bodies, the ATP, the WTA, ITF, and Grand Slam board, issued a joint statement responding to this report. They all agreed with the findings and confirmed an agreement in principle to implement all 12 recommendations by the report. The independent panel will release a final report in the fall, including the governing body's response to this week's news. And we'll keep an eye on this developing story for you. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.